Hey everybody, it's Mother Goose and welcome to my channel. Now today we are starting a new series that I've been really wanting to do for a while but just haven't had the time uh, called What is Mother Goose? Now that kind of makes it sound like I'm asking what am I? Well, I'm a human. Kind of. Anyway, this is going to be a new series that asks questions like what is Mother Goose working on? What is Mother Goose reading? Or I'm going to do like top fives, like what is Mother Goose's top five favorite bands? Stuff like that. Anyway, let's get started. <music> Comics, but more specifically A-Force, the newer one. And in this series, Singularity like comes to existence or she travels between multiple universes. I don't really know the specifics, but in this universe, A-Force doesn't exist. And so she's got to reform the team. Anyway, and they fight things like antimatter or a giant dragon. It's really good. I highly recommend it. A lot of 21 pilots this week. They just put out their new song, Heathens, for the movie Suicide Squad. I fangirl really hard. Oh, it's such a good song. Such a great band. Steven Universe! Now, I didn't give this show much thought before, but I knew it had a huge fan base, so I was like, well, it wouldn't hurt to just check out one episode. Next thing you know, I've watched all of them. Such a good show. It's about this boy, Steven Universe, who's half human, half alien gem. Let's just back up a little bit. Gems are a highly advanced alien race that thousands of years ago, they came to Earth to colonize the planet. but they were destroying the planet. And this one gem, Rose Quartz, she fell in love with the planet and was like, uh-uh, no way, girl. We are not letting this planet get destroyed. So she built a rebellion, and they went to war with their home world. And they ended up winning, but sadly only four of them survived. Now, thousands of years down the road, Rose Quartz falls in love with a musician, Greg Universe. And they fall in love and have Steven. But she had to give up her physical form so he could be born. It's really weird, but such a good show. It's really goofy, there's some really cool action sequences, a really rich and deep lore that they've only really hinted at, and it just has fans, like, begging for more. Overwatch. Now I just want to rephrase my last statement for my Mother Goose Talks video, I said there was no story, and what I meant by that was there's no campaign. It has a really rich, deep storyline that involves like robots rising up, superheroes rising to stop them, nuclear explosions, treachery. It's really interesting, and I love it. Now, Overwatch, it's just a multiplayer game, but each character is unique, and they all have their own playstyle. They all have their own powers, and you just throw them all into a mix, and it's just a complete bloodbath. There's, it's so confusing, yet you know exactly what's going on at the same time. Ah, oh, it's so fun. Go buy it. Right now. Just kidding. Finish this video, and then go buy it. A parabola! Just kidding. It's a pergola. But I like saying parabola. Um, I'm not actually building it. I'm just staining it, as you can see. Very... Very beautiful. Oh god, I think I took a picture. Okay. Oh god, that is the rooster that terrorizes my life. He's a monster. Okay, so I was up top there and I had my uh, bucket of paint or stain and uh, the wind kind of pushed it off. Yeah, that happened. It's going okay. <laughs> Japanese soda! so tasty. I saw it at Hastings one day and I was like, well, I don't really drink soda, but it couldn't hurt to try it. And it was so delicious. And there's like a weird way to open it. See, there's like a marble thing in there. Anyway, and so it comes with a little like green cap, with like a pole or whatever, and you have to like push your palm and the thing in and pop the marble out of place before you can drink the soda. It's Interesting. It was a fun experience. My nephew and I took us a while to figure out how to do it. And yes, it is a soda, but it's not like as heavily carbonated as American soda. So I really enjoyed it. I 
I've decided that on Sundays is going to be my day to like talk to you guys. So I'm either going to put out a Mother Goose Talks or a What is Mother Goose. I think this just gives me a good chance to talk to you guys, uh, tell you what I'm doing, what's going on in my life. I'm going to ask you some questions. Like today's question, what top five should I do? And now all my top fives are going to be my personal preference. Which, of course, I'll ask you guys at the end, like, what's your top five favorite books, bands, movies, so on and so forth? You get what I'm saying. I'm really excited. <laughs> what was I saying? If there's anything you guys want me to talk about in these videos, just hit me up somehow. Comments. Email me. Most of you have my number, saying pretty much all of you are my friends or a friend of a friend. Or a friend of a friend of a friend. You get what I'm saying. You'll find me somehow. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.